Hi, I'm Skyler. When iPad was new, uh, people wondered how they would format their web page so that it would display properly. And there was an early sort of rush toward formatting um, in the pixel dimensions each web page so that it would comply to an iPad's 9.7 inch screen. At that time, it was a resolution of 1024 by 768, which is considerably less than what you would find in, even on a laptop display um, today. So the question remains, how do I make sure that my web page looks correct? Well, there's a great developer document um, on Apple's website, developer.apple.com. I've made a shortened link, which is right here at the top. It's uh, d.pr slash ioj3 should be able to get to this very easily and read a technical write-up of how you would do this. Um, basically, you want to make sure that you're using dynamic layout. And if you're considering what sorts of back-end options might be appropriate, you might look at something like Squarespace or WordPress because both companies provide solutions that are dynamic and generate pages automatically. Uh, for example, we go to Squarespace on my iPad. You'll see what I mean. So if you use a, a tool like Squarespace, basically they take care of hosting, they take care of pretty much everything to do with it um, for something like $15 a month, depending on how many of their services you're using and it makes absolutely exceptional looking websites that format galleries and all sorts of things for you. And as I said, their layout engine is dynamic and creates, let's see where it is, mobile pages for you automatically without you having to do anything special. Also, they've got iPad and iPhone apps for updating content and for managing your website. So that might be a good direction to go in if you don't want to do a lot of the back-end work by yourself. Now you know. I'm Skyler. Thanks for watching.